Hey guys, I'm Ashley Conrad. Welcome to The Gist. So first up, we need to talk. I am a Libra and we are naturally shallow. Sometimes it's pretty over meaningful with us and I hold my hands up, I am guilty of this as well. So this first story I'm really struggling with. Actors Justice Smith and Nicholas Ash have announced they are in a relationship. These two are beautiful and it really shouldn't be illegal to have all this attractiveness in one couple. We're gonna show a picture. I'm gonna drink some rum because I can't handle it. Have a look. Mm. Anyway, Justice Smith is probably best known for Jurassic Park and starring in Detective Pikachu and his boyfriend stars in Queen Sugar. Now, I've always believed happiness is hard to find, so let's be happy for those two. If it does break down though, I will pick up the pieces for either one of you. Anyway, the couple were out protesting in solidarity with Black Trans Lives Matter. In an Instagram post, Justice said, I want to reiterate this sentiment. If your revolution does not include black queer lives, it is anti-black. Powerful. I am so pleased to tell you 40,000 people were recently protesting and demanding justice for black trans lives. <sighs> in America, a series of speeches given by black activists standing at the Brooklyn Museum. Now the crowds were massive and they were all dressed in white and there were around 600 people were um, wearing black lives, black trans lives matter t-shirts. Over in Los Angeles, thousands of protesters wore masks and carried signs and they had the names and faces of trans folks who had been killed. It does make me feel happy that people are actually taking a stand for this. The march had in initially been planned by the organisers of LA Pride in place of the Pride Festival that they usually have. Sadly, this narrative continues because in the light of these protests, the news broke two black trans women were reported murdered within a 24 hour period. So Dominique, also known as Remy Fells of Philadelphia and Rhea Milton of Liberty Township, Ohio. It's, it's not good, it's not good. In America, they have seen at least 14 violent deaths of trans or non-gender conforming people this year. Now, both were actually initially misgendered by police and local media outlets. Milton's sister Ariel took to Twitter to express her disdain over the incorrect gendering of Milton, even in death. How disrespectful. I'm going to have some good news and we're going to drink to the good news today. So, Casta Semenya is back. So do you remember in 2009, she won the 800 meter race at the Berlin World Athletics? Well, I have some tea or some rum for you today. It's a bit more gossipy. Apparently, Casta is expecting her first child with her wife, Violet. Casta shared an image of her feet and baby sneakers positioned in between hers. Cheers to you guys. I'm drinking the rum for Casta and Violet. Now, in a landmark case in America, the Supreme Court has ruled LGBTQ workers are now protected from job discrimination. This means it is now illegal for employers to discriminate because of a person's sex or gender, among other factors like sexual orientation and transgender status. Now, the landmark ruling comes just days after the Trump administration announced it was rolling back anti-discrimination protections for transgender people in healthcare. Confusing? I agree, but it's not just America who are making these changes and taking them away. Even in the UK, something is going on. Now, Boris Johnson's cabinet has decided to leak plans that will make it harder for British trans people to transition. The PM is also said to be preparing new protections, protections, listen to this, that will prevent people with male anatomy from using women-only spaces, including refugees and public toilets. Now, while we're queuing up for Primark, did you see those pictures? Or fighting COVID or at the night town fighting over some trainers. These governments are making moves under the radar. As our PM said, stay alert. Now, some good news, some more good news. Shuti Gatwa is just such a talent. We know him from Sex Education on Netflix. Well, I'm happy for 
him. He's been going to the gym as well. Check him out. Uh, he has been nominated for the male performance in a comedy program category. Now, did you know Shooty was born in Rwanda and grew up in Scotland? He almost actually quit acting before twerking in his audition for sex education. Got him the role. I'm going to drink to that. More rum to you. That's the gist this week. I'm Ashley Conrad. Thank you for watching.